Hello. How can you become a better leader? This is Fernando coming to you from beautiful Geelong here in Australia. You can see it's a beautiful morning. It's uh, just on uh, 6.30 a.m. here. And I wanted to take a moment to uh, share this quick video uh, to talk about leadership because <clears throat> if you're in network marketing and you are trying to grow a team, you are going to have to at some point become that leader that people want to follow. Just because you are the sponsor doesn't automatically mean that you are going to be a great leader. But here's the next question. How can you give what you don't have? And I remember um, just over the years involved in personal development, I hear people talk about how you know, sometimes their parents could have maybe given them more love, their parents could have been more supportive. And I heard uh, someone once say that you know, your parents could only give you what they had. If they didn't know how to give love, they couldn't give you love. If they didn't know how to be supportive, they couldn't give you support. And it's not that they didn't want to do that for you, it's that they didn't have the skills um, to do that. They weren't able to do that for you. So as a, as a leader that you are for your team in your network marketing business, you won't be able to give your team what you don't have. So the question becomes is how can you get what you need to, to be that leader that you seek to be for your team? Well, quite simply, you want to become what Bob Proctor calls an intelligent follower. So an intelligent follower is somebody that looks at uh, a mentor or someone who they want to emulate, who has the skill sets, who has the, uh, the passion, who has the, uh, the desires and the things that they, that they want to emulate. And then they go and learn those skills and then they start to share those with the team. The responsibility falls on us as leaders uh, to develop ourselves, to give our team what they need so that they can become everything they can be and fulfill that potential that you know is in them that is going to help them achieve their goals and in turn help you achieve your goals. So I hope that makes a difference for you today and I hope that you're encouraged to go and seek to become an intelligent follower. Find someone you want to follow, someone that you respect, someone that... Um, is uh, sharing the principles that you wish to have, who is a philosophy that you align with and model that. And there's plenty of resources uh, um, around for that. You can feel free to go to my website at fernandoloisa.com. I have a list of books there that you can take advantage of that are going to make a difference for you. So I hope that makes a difference for you today. Um, if it does, so go ahead and uh, share this. There might be someone in your team you know has potential. Go and share it with them. Let them know that you care about them. Let them know that you're there for them. And um, just seek to become a better leader. In doing so, you're going to have a better team. Okay? Uh, the quality of your team is not determined by the people in your team. It's determined by your leadership.